Clough. Oh, yes! That's two. Callum Wilson, 31 goals this season. Figure ass. Oh, no. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, no. Here he goes. This is the second goal. Get rid. There we go. Second goal. I, I, I called it, didn't I? I actually called it. Figure ass again on the overlap. There it is. It's three. Two nil up and you throw it away. Hello folks and welcome back to Return of the Rovers for not quite the final episode. Yes, 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 yes. What am I saying yes for? Before we get to that rather large monumental news, monumental, monumental, let's have a look at what we've been getting up to since we last had the pleasure of each other's company. So a 3-1 win against Swansea at home, John Joe Selby, Shelby. I can't talk again today. This is not fun. I've got a sore throat, if you hadn't gathered, which is perhaps why I sound slightly deeper than normal. So if I start sneezing and generally just dying on camera, please excuse it. 1-0 against Wolves. Lucas Spenlhofer, of course, the old boys keep on coming back, but he came back and then went again because he got himself sent off the silly little sausage. 2 all draw against Derby. But here comes the first of two massive games. Our Europa League semi-final game against Borussia Dortmund. We drew the home leg first and we scored all of the goals, which included uh, an excellent Dominic Iorfa own goal. Pigeon tits. We were, we were cruising at this point. Uh, playing it across the back, Dominic Iorfa plays it back to Freddy Sand, who then smashes it into his head. Absolutely no need. We followed that rather unexpected win against Borussia Dortmund up with a, a draw against West Ham and we're up to our old tricks again with more own goals. Although West Ham bad us to be fair, so... Oh look, Craig Pawson, poor by name, poor by nature. Yep. But the biggest surprise out of all of those was us defeating Borussia Dortmund in their own backyard, which is called the Signal Iduna Park. It sounds like Park Ji Sung's slightly special brother. Or sibling. He might not have a brother. Rikara Zitkovic, you beautiful man, getting himself a rather emphatic hat trick. We absolutely annihilated them. Just played on the counter and it just worked to perfection. Perfection. And that has booked us a place in the Europa League final against Leon, giving us a chance to save ourselves if we do happen to really screw things up against Man City and West Brom. And we all know what happened last season. The realisation is now just set in. If we're able to draw against Man City, even if we lose against West Brom, it doesn't matter. We are in the Champions League, regardless of what happens in the Europa League final. Oh, look at that beautiful narrative. Ipswich and Norwich both facing each other for survival. Ooh. Don't care. Relegation battle. We are favourites for this game, despite Man City having an absolute wealth of talent. If Man City win, we then have to go ahead and beat West Brom to secure that fourth spot. No bottle jobs, please. Let's do this. Oh, will you? No, like Steve Wright, he's a youth player. No one cares. Sod off. Oh, nice to see they've rested players for this really important match. Absolute barstools. Let's see if my voice now holds out for this next bit. In goal, number 23, Freddie Sands. Number 16, Georgie Shenikov. Number four, Dillit. Number five, Jesus Valaho. Number 21, Dominic Iorfa. Number eight, Roberto Firmino. Number 24, Juan something Galvez. I've forgotten it again. Oh my God, I'm going all Sean Dyche. Number 14, Acosta Coffee. Oh, let's come back. Number 20, Jack Grealish. Number 25, Mario Goetze. Starting ahead of your number nine, Callum Wilson, 
Number 11, Ricaro Zivkovic. Killed my voice. It's fine. Let's go and not ruin this. Oh, look, new camera angle. This, I remember that. That's why we, we stopped with using it last time. Because I'm a donut. I like donuts. Who doesn't like donuts? We're attacking. Firmino Zivkovic. Oh, I'm talking about donuts and being a silly little person. I can't use silly sausage again. I've already used that once. And Zivkovic absolutely takes the roof off the net, hopefully. Firmino plays it through. Zivkovic finds himself in acres of space and, oh, into the side netting, not the roof of the net. Bizarre. Iorfa crosses the ball, sort of. Grealish in again, misses that header. Strangely enough, back to Acosta. Plays the ball over to Iorfa, gets across from the byline, and it's in! It's in! I can't believe it! Roberto Firmino! Oh, what a beautiful man! Oh dear! Did not expect this. I offer almost overruns it, but doesn't matter. Low cross in, and Firmino slides through that gaggle of bodies somehow. Shenikov pings the ball inside the field, and oh, I off Joe Hart. No, no, not no. That is ludicrous. Carlos Mane out on the wide, out on the wide. Why do I? Why do I even bother? Goodness sake. Gertz is having a poor game. By anyone's standards, not just his own. In fact, ooh, Zach Clough. You tell that Gertzer he's been a... Something that rhymes with Gertzer. If I do start to sound like I've just swallowed Sean Dyche... Ah, phrasing of that one was is not quite right. Samu, we're trusting your advice. Wilson, who's just come on for Zivkovic. Oh my... G G That's GBH, R Renato Sanchez. Uh, swinging the ball into Zach Clough is not going to give us anything because he's five foot three. And oh my word, what a shot by Jack Grealish. Thomas. Who's Thomas? He's scored. That's that's who. He Wilfred. Wilfred Thomas. The comeback is on. And no one did anything to stop him. Acres of room. And well. Excellent. Now, Firmino, he's, he's just loitering inside a little bit. Galvez now, can he can he rectify that poor... Ru Wilson hits the post! Okay, oh, for... What? Hang, hang on, a, hang on, a, hang on. Is that... That's not going to help. Ready San saves it onto the post and then just picks it up. That is the closest thing I've seen to a non-goal... Ever. Closing second, surely, but is there another sting in the tail for us? Uh, no, because that that's not a great part. Yes, motivate by deprecation. West Brom lost. We're into third. I want third position. My mouse shortcut is not working. This is not working for me. We've fast forwarded a little bit. We've got to the West Brom game, finally. Of course, I may sound like him, but I am not Sean Dyche because I am facing off against him today to secure this third placed finish. This will be our best finish. And what a good way to bring down the curtain on this Premier League season. We have rested a few players for today's game because we have the Europa League final in three days time so thanks very much fixture list you dick starting in goal we have 23 freddy sands number 16 georgie shenikov for his penultimate game for blackburn rovers that really hurts number four delit number five jesus valor number 21 dominic Ayor. number seven juan cazares number 24 Juan Galvez. Number 14, Luis Acosta, because he did. Number 20, Jack Grealish. Number 17, Pau Galindo. And your number 9, Callum Wilson, because Zivkovic got injured in the last game and he's going to miss the final. It's a cruel twist of fate for him. That's the squad. We're trusting Samu. It never works. Oh, okay. It worked. Well done, Samu. Eight minutes in. And, oh, Cazares has made a boo-boo. And Tyler Roberts is in here. And he's put it wide. <whistles> now, we've obviously got the beating of West Brom. So, we're now going to pass into the space. 
Why am I being serious? No need for seriousness and, and oh, 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 for goodness sake. But Pavelka is, is being called over by the referee and he's, he's marching over slowly. It's going to be a yellow card. Mike Jones, why do you have to be the centre of everything? Jack Grealish switches the ball over to the left-hand side. Georgi Shenikov now into Wilson. Uh, oh, my word. Oh, David Espina. Shenikov plays the ball to Cazares. Paul Galindo then slots it through into Wilson. And then, well, David Espina does his best impression of a goalkeeper. It's not a good one. Cazares plays the long ball. Wilson chases. Still Wilson, he's got no support. Plays it back to Cazares, though. Cazares finds Galvez, who's slotted through Galindo. And that is a piss-poor effort. That was a tackle. Okay, yeah, it was a tackle. Absolutely was a tackle. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. Playing the ball nicely. Although Acosta is searching for Wilson. He's only got one man to beat. He's got past him. Got no support. What is that? That's gone. It's gone out for a throw-in. They've got met lots of men forward. They ping the ball over the top. And Moore is in a... What a great tackle by Vallejo. We've got a lot of possession. Doing a not an awful lot with it. Let's move to standard. Uh, it's half-time. I'm far from pleased. <laughs> Get them fired up. Let's do more. Send them back out. I offer with a pathetic throw in. Carno moved about a season and a half ago. He is not on your team anymore. What are you playing at? Jenikov throws to Cazares. Cazares driving into that space. Wilson takes a long range shot. And oh, not far wide indeed. Flint plays through Roberts. And oh, for goodness sake. It happened last year. Exactly. Why didn't you leave it alone? Why could you just... Not, why? It was fine. You've, you've messed around and now you've broken it. And that is going to be it. Much like last year, we failed to beat West Brom on the last day. And it has cost us. Right then, because I'm nearly dead, that brings us to the end of this penultimate episode of Return of the Rovers. Come back, please, for the Europa League final, where hopefully we won't completely capitulate like a bunch of assholes like we just have. If you've enjoyed the episode today, please tick off that like button, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe. But for now, folks, it's goodbye from me and my stupid Sean Dyche throat. Thanks for watching. In case you're blind, had a haircut. Rather severe. Why didn't I just pretend to be Sean Dyche? I could have been a tactical genius. A ginger tactical genius.